Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeView.com. Let's take a look at the X-Man Tornado. So before I get started, I want to thank SpeedCubeShop.com for sending me this. You can stop by their store to pick up this cube as well as many other ones, and use discount code QBView to save 10% on your order. Now this cube is from Chi Yi. It's kind of the same concept with Kong's design as well as the Guoguan. It's a creator that's using the company to help produce their cubes. Now the stickers look very, very similar to Moryu shades. And I'm starting to wonder if they are in the same factory, because even the stickerless Chi Yi was the same sort of shades as the stickerless Moyu. But that's something for another time. When this came in, it was not too bad. It moved really well, but it was really flexible. Now, I was concerned that this would be too flexible, but then I tested it out next to my 356. And it's just as flexible. So it's not too much of a problem. What I did was I tightened the tensions and added a lot of weight 50 lube to this. And now, I love this cube. It moves really, really well. It almost feels like a GANS 356 light. It has that same kind of semi-scratchy, semi-smooth feeling, kind of wobbly, but it just works really nicely. Now, this was only after I added the lube that I really liked it. Before that, it wasn't anything bad, it just didn't have the right feeling that I wanted. Now, this cube, the structure looks very, very similar to the Yushin. So if we look at these internal pieces, the corners have that sort of angled off, just like the Yushin did. And also the Hualong is very much like this too, but the Hualong has some holes in it. These edge pieces are also very, very similar to the Yushin, and they have that bump. Now this bump is very similar to one you'd see on the Aolong as well, but it looks much more similar to the Yushin. With that said, it feels nothing like the Yushin. The Yushin was a little bit over 57 millimeters, and this one is about 56 and a half. So it's a millimeter smaller. I haven't gotten a single corner twist on this. And it just feels actually a little bit more heavier. It's not actually that heavy of a cube, but it does have a good weight to it. So to get into the basics, corner cutting, fantastic. Just a little bit over 45. Corner twisting doesn't really happen much. It's possible, but doesn't happen much at all. Locking wasn't really an issue once I got used to how to control it. And it's fairly fast. So this is a great cube. If I had to describe it, the best I could do is a GANS 356 light. Now, again, that's only after I put in the 50 weight lube. So if you get this and it doesn't feel at all like what I said, make sure you add some lube to it. If you get this and you don't add lube, it's still gonna be a great cube. All that did was sort of change the feeling of it, but I feel like it also made it a little more stable because it slowed down the movement a bit. If you like the thunderclap, that does not mean that you will like this. The thunderclap felt very different, and this isn't really like a different or upgraded thunderclap. This is a completely new cube. So, thank you for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions down in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.